queries. Whilst you can provide the information at this time, it is configurable afterwards as well, so if something isn't quite right, you can change it. Once this is done, your track environment is set up and it's running in its default form. You can access it via its own standalone server, but like Subversion, you can also make use of Apache for access and also make use of the same user authentication files to ensure you only need to manage the one set of credentials. The default track workflow is shown on the slide. This is a simple structure allowing the creation of new records, signing them to individuals who can then accept them for work. Once completed, the record is resolved and moved to the closed state. It has a single off normal state of reopened. This workflow is fine for simple tasks, though for a production change management system you would ideally need a more detailed model covering triage of raised records, validation, testing and verification stages, as well as parking statuses for known error lists and postponed records. This can all be tailored to fit in with your existing change management processes. Clear Vision and Professional Services can assist with any customization and installation tasks. Okay, bringing it all together. Let's have a look at the finished results. You bear with me for a sec. What I'm going to do is now share my live server so we can have a quick look at how it all works. This is based on the model shown. And here we go. We'll be landing on the main wiki page of track. Okay, first page has been left at the default in this example. It is a fully configurable wiki page, so you can change this however you see fit and make use of all wiki functionality. As you can see in this uh, example, we've basically just customized it by putting on a clear vision banner. You can display any corporate logo as you need. Moving along the the main navigation tag. Um, I'm logged in as user 2, which is highlighted there. We can look at the timeline feature. This records events against the date so that you can see what has been happening when and track back through the history of changes. And being a wiki, it's full of wiki links. So you can jump from here to the various other, other aspects of the track site. Okay, a quick look at the roadmap. The roadmap shows a picture of your project milestones. Again, customizable. And what this does is it will record active tickets against the milestone and report on percentage completion. So as you can see, milestone one is 100% complete, and milestone two is only 50 so any tickets that have been raised and associated with a milestone will reflect here so you can get a very quick temperature check of how your project's proceeding. Okay, jump into the Browse Source tag. Browse Source tag is your integration to your Subversion repository where you can navigate through your code, view changes and associated comments, run comparisons or just open source files. So here we can see the standard top level subversion directories, branches, tags and trunk. Trunk being the main working area. And we can see when the revision number, how old it is, and what the last change was. So we can drive down into the casino app and we can see the instructions text there. As you can see, you can also launch straight into the file there. If it is a text file, it will open it up and annotate it with line numbers down the side. You, you can also provide very simple last change information to provide a diff. And you can see the last change, which is associated to a ticket, was to amend the starting money from 100 to 1,000, as the comment suggests. So you've got 
full integration with Subversion and through the use of the comments and the tickets you can link physical code changes to logical change requests. Which brings us on to the, the tickets. You can view tickets. There's a set of predefined reports or you can use a custom query to show your own. Have a look at active tickets. There's just the one active ticket, and it will show it's associated to milestone two, the type of ticket it is, owner, its status, and its creation date. And you can go into more detail by clicking on the individual ticket, and you'll get the ticket form up. As you can see, you can attach files to tickets. It has a change history, so there it's been linked to a source a piece of source code which we can go have a look at and here is the file that's changed for this as we saw before we want to just find out what this change was so we can go click on it and we can see the change for this was changing the, the minimum bet amount okay. create a new ticket we have this tab here where it asks us for the basic details, summary description. We can associate a ticket with a particular type. It can either be a defect, an enhancement, or a task. Again, you can create new types, associate it to a milestone so it gets picked up on the roadmap. You can also associate it to a specific version of your project and a specific component. And that is the basic ticketing system. And we can then look at searching throughout the entire track implementation for tickets, change sets, milestones, or anything on the wiki. OK, so that's the basics of your free system in place. As you can see, everybody can log in and collaborate. You can update code, commit code, link that through to your change tickets and so everything is all linked in together and from this one interface you can see everything that's going on within your project. Okay, so I'm now going to return to the presentation from here. Just wait for that to close down and go back to the presentation. Okay, now how can Clear Vision help? You've now seen the components required to produce a free SCCM system and had a small glimpse of the wealth of tools available in the open source community. However, one of the general blockers to moving to an open source solution is, is the question of support. Whilst a wealth of community support is available, there are no SLAs or guarantee that an answer will be forthcoming in your required timescales. Also, at the corporate level, there can still be a level of doubt around free software. ClearVision have a range of professional services to enable you to achieve your goals and plug the support gaps left by open source tools. We can provide formal support contracts which provide clear service level agreements for responding to tickets and for site visits, so you're not leaving your support of mission critical systems to the vagaries of a community mailing list or forum. ClearVision support staff have experience from thousands of customer sites covering a wide variety of technical environments and have previously resolved all manner of customer issues. ClearVision can provide consultancy services to help you with any aspects of your organization's configuration management process, from detailed audit and planning to health checks, scoping exercises, through to full-blown evaluation and implementation projects. We can assist you each step of the way to ensure you achieve your objectives. As mentioned earlier in the webinar, ClearVision also have a full range of products designed to integrate commercial and open source offerings to give you the best of both worlds, as well as products to extend and enhance their functionality. Finally, we have a full training curriculum to ensure that the needs of all users are met when adopting an SCCM tool, whether it's just a fundamental course for the end user or an in-depth look at the advanced or administration aspects of the tool. We have it covered and can deliver in a variety of mediums to suit your needs. 